So we're at the, uh, we got some nice sun going for us this afternoon. We're at the area called the Yellow Mounds, which are uh, an outcropping of very colorful mounds. So Joel and I are gonna go down and we're gonna take a few photos. We're gonna climb down so we can get down in the middle of them. Or I may photograph it with that yellow shrubbery there, but we're gonna climb down there and shoot that way with the blue sky in the background. All right. So we're gonna we climb down the trail. And I love the way this frames in. So we got the blue sky up there. That's gonna really set off the yellow in these formations here. This is gonna be really really pretty. And uh, they say with these, uh, they say with these that your your better light is in the evening, as the sun is uh, getting low in the sky. So. We're not super low, but we're low enough and we've got good sun. I'm gonna make best use of it right now. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna shoot these uh, yellow mounds, beautiful reds and blues and grays. It's just spectacular. So I'm excited about this shot. All right, so I, uh, I'm using uh, on this shot, just so you know, I'm using a graduated ND filter. So the graduated neutral density, graduated eight, it's a soft graduated filter. It's not a hard grad. I wanted to bring down the sky because I want that blue to really jump and I wanted to lighten up the top, or I'm sorry, darken up the tops of the mounds up there so they would be in the same exposure range as the bottom here. So I've, I've shot the shot and uh, I changed some settings in the camera as well this time to pump up the saturation, make it a little more vivid. Um, and it is just such a great shot. Uh, so we're actually gonna share that shot with you on the screen because, well, you gotta see it. You just gotta see it. This one's going on the wall in our house. I can tell you that right now. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna pack up the camera now and uh, we're gonna head out to the Pinnacles Overlook and set up shop over there anticipating something happening for the sunset. It's gonna have to be good. It just has to. It just has to. So we're here at, uh, at at the Pinnacle Point. It's it's literally called Pinnacle Point, and um, I I got my eye on this area here is what I've got my eye on. So I'm loving the way the shadows are working going down here, but the sun is starting to go down. We've got a lot of smoke from fires in California, which can work and should work to our advantage to give us a lot of color in the sky. But um, I've got a young man. Uh, who's uh, made an introduction? His name is Jason, and he's asked if he can kind of, if he can kind of tag along and learn a little bit. So it's kind of fun because uh, he's learning how to use his stuff. So we've got a lot of dramatic shadows here, which is uh, something that I like quite a bit, um, and it's very cool with Badlands, uh, with the shadows and and the crags and the rock. Uh, we 
got some nice trees down there. So we'll probably put this image on the screen uh, more than likely. And right now what we're watching is we're watching for these clouds that are way over here. And then if you'll come over here, we've got an awful lot over here. So we're just really going to pay attention to what's going on around us, which is one of the things that you really want to do when you're doing this kind of stuff. Um, you, you want to pay attention to everything that's going on around you because, as I said before, I'll say it again, oftentimes the best shot ends up being behind you. So you need to be mindful. You get If you get too focused in one spot with what you're looking at, you might miss out on the actual epic shot because it could very well be behind you. So we're going to be mindful of that and going to continue to be looking around. And I'm going to be working with Jason here, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And so thanks. So as you can see, you're getting a spectacular sunset. But again, like I always say, sometimes the best shot's behind you. So if you look over here, we're going to start to get some of that action going. It's going to be red and magenta and purple and it's going to be over here and that's going to be great because that's the shot that we want not that this is fair i'm stealing jason's idea because the grass being green over there is really cool we're we're shooting this and it's incredibly great the color is just extraordinary and so one of the things that i want to do is we're going to move over here in just a second because I love the way this pink is up here. I'm waiting for the sun to go down just a little bit more because back there it's much more pink. And I, I want this to all be pink over this because it's magic hour. It's called the magic hour in the Badlands. It is, no joke. It's beautiful. So, it's, uh, you can see why. So the wind's picking up. We had an exceptional night with the, uh, with the photography. Uh, the sunset was absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, the images uh, that we're putting on the screen right now it was a huge success so I just could not be more ecstatic that those clouds broke up lots and lots of smoke in the sky from the fires in California going on right now and this is a lesson for you if you're watching when there's smoke sit and wait because more than likely the smoke is going to turn extraordinary colors like what you're seeing on the screen uh, as you're seeing these images roll from this evening shoot. So uh, we're going to call it an evening here. Joelle and I are going to go maybe watch a show or something, have a cup of coffee to warm up because she's freezing cold. She is being a real trooper with this uh, whole thing that we're doing because it is cold. And um, tomorrow morning, Big Badlands Overlook, and then I think we'll be done here. So I hope you enjoyed today. It's been a, a real, real joy for us today. So thanks for coming for today, and we'll see you one more day tomorrow, Badlands, and then we're off. All right? Okay, good night. Good night.